kind of one coffee. <laughs> is everyone, is everyone, is everyone <laughs> peppers? We all like started something. coughing as I was cooking chili peppers. <laughs> and it's <gasps> in the air like some yeah, yeah. pepper spray. Did I'm you sorry. put in peppers or pepper spray? I put in peppers <laughs> <laughs> and turned it into pepper spray. Did you mace the meal? I <clears throat> maced the meal. Hey! I'm so fucking confused on this recipe. I have no idea what just flak, fucking put it flak together. meal is. Or oh, I've got to measure it myself. No, actually. Oh, do, we, do we help or we just no, sit here I, and do I wish I'm you not could. Fucking doing this is shit. the most un complicated fucking meal in the world. I want to make it right hungry. so I want to see if it's good. I'm not even hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone just hear that? What did he say? He goes, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> he's not. He went to dinner before. I'm kidding, he Bert. Him. <laughs> I'm kidding, Bert. I'm starving. <laughs> if I don't eat, I'll die. Oh. Are you all right over there? Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cooking this horrific fucking meal what? for Nick. This horrific fucking dairy-free, grain-free, citrus-free, fruit-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, no seafood, vegan gluten-free mini Thai pizzas, and Thai kelp noodles. This is so I can keep drinking. This is, and by I'm the way, I'll be drinking through the entire thing just so Nick can keep drinking. By the way, yeah. please tell me we are not rice and cauliflower. Okay, there's some in the fridge. We, okay, that, okay. I'm, yeah, if you're gonna rice, right, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crazy. fucking sit here and fucking grate no, it. No, that's fucking voodoo. Jesus. Good God. Um, wait. what was the original title of Malibu's Most Wanted? Suckers. Love it. What was it? Was it was favorite, R-rated. One of my favorite titles ever. Suckers. Yeah, I love that movie. It was gonna be hardcore rated R comedy, and then they made us. Tone it down, and then they've squeezed me out. Uh, Jamie Kennedy. People still think I'm him in that. For real? Yeah, it's a weird. I, that's a weird confusion when people come up like Malibu's most wanted, and I'm like, no, it's a different white person that doesn't work. Right. Anymore. The movie's based on your life. That movie yeah. made me laugh so motherfucking hard. Yeah, there's some good shit in that movie, man. I wrote that. When I say Mally, you say Boo. boo. Mally. Boo. <laughs> Yeah, there was some good shit. Uh, I wrote the original script when I was fucking like 23. Are you serious? Yeah. It was crazy. It was Wait. Jamie's idea. He had like this white rapper character. And I just thought of a couple scenes and he's like, write it. So I did. Fuck. Four tablespoons of water. Oh, this is, yeah. I can't have certain. water. <laughs> I'm allergic to water. Yeah, but this um, diet's nuts. But I didn't know this. Here's a little fun fact for people listening that want to keep drinking. They're watching. And eat right. What? They're watching. Oh, these cameras are on? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, you, if you eat a lot of dairy and you're a drinker, um, your liver takes so long to process dairy that the alcohol stays in your system and runs your immune system down really bad. So when you eat dairy and you drink, like when you have beer and a pizza, it totally fucking overworks your liver and fucks you. So that wait, does that mean you- me. In your butt! Do you get more drunk, does that mean, or does it just mean it It just stays in your system. So, I mean, I guess you get a little bit more drunk, but it just, your liver's just working uh, fucking overtime, Double dude. rig D's. Yeah. Fuck. So what are we doing now? What is this uh, about? I don't know what this is, but I gotta let it rest for five minutes. Oh, great. I think this is part of our crust. I think that's it, we just eat that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's part of the crust? Yeah, How, where are you getting your meals made? Are you just not I eating just anything? Fucking, no, I just eat, I eat out of cat, cat food. Now, tell me about, Typical 2004, 2005. Typical Rick. Hollywood parties. Oh. Like, give me, break down a scene. I want, you're a screenwriter, obviously, out of all the things you do, but walk me through a scene of what it was like when Hollywood was blowing up. Nick and Jessica are still married. Paris Hilton's got her TV show. She, your phone gets lost. That guy gets your new phone and yeah. he's texting invites to the party. That, I can't believe that. Didn't That's when LA was fun. Yeah, tell me, walk it me through a typical fun. night. Walk me through a typical night. Like uh, five o'clock, phone blows up. Hey, dot, 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 dot. Nick. Well, we have different ones. I mean, I remember it would just be like random. It'd be like, um, you know, Paris or Nikki yeah, Paris, would yeah. be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. Like, hey, let's go to get sushi. So we would go to like Katsuya or Nobu, some sushi place, and we would just drink our faces off. And then, you know, I, I would order like thousand dollar bottles of sake. It was just r ridiculous. And we would just get thrashed and then go to clubs. Like whatever was like 
like the club that to go to. You know, Joseph's I mean? was a good club. Yeah, I mean, it was just like whatever was hot okay, at the okay, time, okay, and okay. it's like everybody would fucking go there, and everybody would be there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm the network. I'm giving notes on other things I want to hear. So you guys go out to Katsuya, thousand dollars. I love that. You guys pull up to the club. Paparazzi are outside. Yeah, always. Yeah. Uh, paparazzi are outside. The energy in the car when you pull up and paparazzi, you see them. Be honest. Is it? I've never been around. I never had paparazzi. Is it really like, oh fucking god? Are you like? A little bit, your heart racing, like, this is crazy. Like, it depends on, like, what level of fucked up. Like, I was just always like, ugh. <laughs> like, <laughs> just get me in this fucking thing. I didn't, I, it uh, wasn't ever part of my, like, well, I just want to get fucked up. It was weird with Paris because she was at the time, you got to realize in that era, she was like Kim Kardashian. Like, she was the first, like, super famous paparazzi everywhere you'd go. But she actually embraced it and would make it somewhat, yeah, like, she, fun. She made in it a seem way. fun. She was uh, fun. She you know still what I mean? Fun. She still is. But she would handle it really well and not make it weird, whereas I knew like other famous people would like hide from it, just make it worse by like, uh, she would just roll with it and get out and own it and stand right in front of it and made it, you know, like, I don't know, she diffused it by just not being <laughs> weird about it. I have, a, yeah, I have a handful, as you do too. Uh, I remember Paris called me before she went to jail and she had a pre going to jail party at her house <laughs> before she went to jail. So I went to her house and we were there was just like 30 of us there and her family and it was her pre going to jail party. And like nobody like, what do you say? Like your friend's about to go to jail like the next day and everybody was just kind of like kind of partying, but it was just like she was like, hey, I'm in jail tomorrow. I'm like, so yeah. fucking mad. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, but then one time we went, to, I can't remember what club it was, it was a small club. And it was me and her and uh, Nikki, and we had a table, and we were just chugging vodka like cartoons, just Gah. And the VIP host comes over, he's like, hey, can you do us a favor? And Paris is like, yeah, what's up? And he's like, um, can we fit two more people on your table? We had a huge table. And she's like, yeah, who is it? And he goes, it's um, the director, M. Night Shyamalan. And uh, she's like, who? And I go, it's the guy who did the Sixth Sense and stuff. She goes, oh my god. Yeah. I have a success. She goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking M. Night and his cousin came and they were just like uncomfortable, but like you could tell his cousin was in town and they were just like sitting there like watching. His cousin's like, a doctor! Yeah. <laughs> we were on the table like pouring vodka on our heads. I was with and you just that M. Night and his cousin. Were you there? I was with you that night. It was fucking so weird. It's M. Night Shyamalan, the director, and his cousin just in the corner of this booth. Yeah. Paris is like, do you guys want some vodka? <laughs> We were just like, <laughs> fucking whatever. It's what's what's the difference between Nikki and Paris? Not to harp on the Hiltons, but you gotta, you know what's crazy is where we are today with celebrity, they created that. Oh, yeah. Oh, they were a huge They created that. Yeah, dude. Uh, I just, I mean, they were and, just. And oh. they fucking, you know what they did? They Jim Browned it. They, they fucking, they, they went. Ta -ta -ta -ta. No, no, they just oh. got out of the game early and they're like, they I'm no head injuries, I'm out. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah. So what is the difference between the two? No, they're both, I mean, you know, they're, they're both cool. They're both just, like, down to earth. I mean, more than people would think. Paris is so fucking cool. Like, she's honestly so nice to her fans. Like, I've always, I've never seen her say no to a fan that wanted a picture. Like, people always want some dirt on, like, my famous friends, like, you know, Charlie Sheen or Paris and Armand. Honestly, I got nothing bad, not that I would, but they're nice people. And I uh, got nothing bad to say. You know what, Charlie Sheen, everyone always like, what's your craziest Charlie Sheen party story? And what's fucking <laughs> crazy is that I have never even had a sip of beer with Charlie. Not a sip of fucking beer, because the only time I hang out with him is when he's working or doing, uh, doing on a good one. And I don't hang out with him when he's not doing good. So I've never even, I got no Charlie Sheen party stories. never had beer with him. Nothing. Nothing. Have you drank cocaine Nothing. with Nothing. Have you drank cocaine? Nothing. Cocaine on the rocks. Nothing at all with Charlie. And I, I've drank with Charlie. Uh, I, I kind of wish I had a Charlie party story, but I just don't. Me and Paris, we had some parties. But I mean, Simon and I had a show, uh, Typical Rick, that was short lived. Comedy Central? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw. But it was a web series, and uh, you can see it on YouTube. And uh, we had a lot of great cast. And uh, Charlie Sheen did it yep. for like fucking nothing. He was like, yeah, I'll do it. And we wrote him this part. He was super funny. Dude. And he showed up. We shot in the valley. It was boiling hot at this motel. And he didn't give a fuck. He just sat there smoking cigs. And we gave him like $300. He's like, I don't even fucking want oh, yeah, it. I'll money. pay to be in this. Yeah, like, yeah. I'll give you money. Yeah, He, he just wanted to like money. do something fun with his friends. And yeah. <laughs> it was just, he's just like down to earth as fuck. Yeah, he's a real one. Yeah. Uh, Showed up on time, knew his lines, brought ideas. He's like, remember, he was like pitching ideas. He was very invested in. What's the key to working in this business? You guys have both been working in this business for over 20 years. 
successfully at a very high level, what is the key to working in this business? Mm -hmm. Diarrhea. I um, mean, I just think just be. I was just always like who I was, even no matter what I had. Just, I was just be the yourself. Same. But it's true. I mean, it just sounds simple, but it's like just treat people. You know, just I don't know, just like you would. No, yeah. no, no. Hold on one second. I'm not gonna let that horse shit answer go by. Okay. You you have been able to make friends with celebrities, which is so fucking. It's who hard you know a lot. No, but no, but it's not just who you know. It's how you can befriend them. Like like. But it's what not is the key friendly, to But that's also a bigger question of like. Befriending like celebrities. I mean, I, I've, I've always, I, even when I was coming up in comedy, I didn't. None of the comedians I was coming up with were celebrities. Also, the, it really is who you know. Like for instance, Nick here has used me time and time again on projects that he's doing. He'll throw me in his Comedy Central show. He'll put me in a fucking like he do. He did a stand up special in Austin. He had me open up musically. He's all so it's like, and I'm sure Adam did that for him. And I think uh, your relationships go a long way. And if you show up on time and don't fuck it up, and you're a professional, you'll get used again. But if you're a fuck up, I don't think you'll get. You know, you could burn a bridge. Pretty well, it quick. was about not having an ego. I never had an ego, so it's like I had seen. And heard about, this is after I'd worked with Adam for a while, but they were, I was like, what happened to so-and-so? And they were like, he just turned into a fucking asshole, like douchebag. And I just, I don't know if it's just being Minnesotan or whatever, but I, that's not really how I was raised. Just, you don't fangirl out at all for anyone? I do, like, with athletes, I'm a big sports fan, so I'll, I'll yeah. get, I'll, like, kind of have panic attacks if I, like, meet an athlete. Because they're like superheroes. Like, <laughs> oh, dude, I, I, if it's, I'll fuck Because they do superhero it. shit. We're used to other like entertainers. Like, oh, I do it. They, I can't understand how these athletes do what the fuck they do. Like that, I'm with them on that. Like, I get a little starstruck if I met Steph Curry or. I mean, I, mean, I, I understand what they do. I'm not a fucking alien. Where it's like, uh, I mean, they dribble a ball and they throw it into a hoop. It's not yeah, complicated. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it is. They're a not bit like a mystery, like an Egyptian pyramid, where I'm staring at it. Like, how do you exist? I don't think you'd start an Egyptian excited, pyramid, but. but you know? Yeah. Anyway, you were saying. I think I found out my, my real question. Oh. I'm not good. So like, say I, I, say I don't know Nick Swartzen. Okay. And you go, hey man, Weird. you're really funny. We should, you know, do, do something or something. Here's my number. I'll never text you, I'll never call you. I'm not good at that shit. Like I'm like, I, I'm not someone that wants to reach out or be in imposition. I don't want to text you a bunch. So I don't do that. Are you cool with like texting? Say, say like, First time you met uh, Paris Hilton, she's like, we should hang out, here's my number. Do you text her the next morning or? I know this is like super no. silly, but like. I know what you're saying. I, I would mean, never text, I didn't even text either of you to do this show. I DM'd yeah, you. Yeah, you did. And you then DM'd you were like, you. I'll take a rain yeah. check. And I was like, he's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. I don't want to be yeah. a bother, you know? No, Both somebody... of you are so good at like maintaining yeah. relationships with people that are people that go, hey, don't give my number to anyone type of people. You know what I mean? Right. Like. Well, I mean, I'd never asked anybody for their number. If somebody gave me their number, there would be a context for, you know what I mean? Like, someone's like, yo, let's hang out or let's do, you know, I would hit them up if I wanted to hang out. I don't know. Shit. See, I guess it's that normalcy where I just, I, maybe I overthink things. No, but I mean, like, when, when Adam said, like, first gave me his number, I was just like, I, I, like, I didn't know what to do. I was kind of like, what the fuck do I do with this? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. And so at what point did you go, at what point in your relationship with Adam did you go, Oh, he's my friend, and I can also tell him, legit, go fuck yourself. Um, I mean, we just kind of, like, the more I got to know him, the more we just, the walls came down, and we just became friends, and I didn't really yeah. look at him like Adam Sandler anymore. I was just like, Adam, you know, like, my friend. And then that was easier, and then I was like, yeah. This is the most confusing. I don't know what any of these ingredients are. I think this is peanut butter? It's the peanut sauce. This is the peanut sauce, okay. What's the end game here? We're just making one fucking thing. I can't do this other fucking thing. We are making mini Thai gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, no seafood, grain-free pizzas. Oh, well, you pizzas. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Hey, uh, tell me about Bali real quick. Oh. Have you been to Bali? Hey, no. Fight Club. Did you really just pull that out of the fucking... Dude, that's what I was looking for, <laughs> bro. Uh, thank you, bro. See how you are? Tell me about Bali. All right, dude, so check it out. How do you describe... We have this on camera? How? Or do we have to take this off? Nick, it's not a movie. It's yeah. the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sandler? It's basically Bali. Oh, God, how do you explain this place? It's majestic. It's, uh, Is it okay to take my, my girls? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's very safe. It's the best place in the world for many reasons. Um, the people are the nicest human beings on the planet. You, you walk around, you just feel like an asshole for being like a Western American thinking person. There's no rules. You, it's just like common sense law, so everywhere you go, it's just like, use your head. Uh, don't be a fucking idiot. 
Um, you can, for instance, little things like this. Oh, okay. No, 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 keep talking. Oh, I'm listening? just out of the shot right now. Okay. Can you get me? Oh. You want to go rent a scooter, right? Bro, are you listening? Bro? Like give me I'm one listening. second. Yeah, this yeah. is already made. This is already made. And then what, give me this shit. Can you find me this shit? This should go. Okay, it's out. All right, keep going. Okay, I'm so yeah. sorry. Keep going. So basically, there's no rules. In that, you oh. go there, and it's like, oh, you want to rent a scooter? There's no fucking paperwork, driver's license, credit card, fucking helmet. They throw you the keys to the scooter, and then once you get the scooter, there's no, no parking Sunday, 2 to fucking 10. There's no rules. So your whole time you're there, you're stripped away of these fucking Western ways of like, oh, Keep I'm gonna safe. get in trouble. The best food, the best people, the best fucking beaches, these beautiful old temples, the vibration there, like, it's an experience. You just gotta fucking do it. You can't describe it. It's like Kauai on acid. Oh, safe. Good All that sounds good for your daughters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, you what know, negative fuck, Nick, man. make it a bad spin what on an amazing place. What did you just describe? It's a great place. Good God. It's a great place, and I think you'd fucking love it. At least a week, at least a week there. And yeah. there's only three areas of Bali you go. Changu, Uluwatu, or Abud. I'll write these down for you. Got you. I'll write these please, down. Please, I'll, please. I'll text you back on, on uh, Twitter DM, and I'll tell you the few spots to go. And it's absolutely the greatest place on the planet Earth. Long story short, Anthony Bourdain, uh, said, Killed himself. Yeah, I know you're going to say something about that. Um, <laughs> they said, okay, you've been everywhere in the world. What's the one place that you'd want to live? He's like, without a fucking doubt, Bali. It's that really? special there. Yep. Why are I you not there special. right now? Why are you not there right I now? I just got back. Go back. I yeah. want to go back. When was the last vacation you took for yourself? Hmm. Fucking Reno. <laughs> I went to Culver City. <laughs> Tell them, no, um... I don't know. I haven't. Oh, I go to Hawaii a lot. So I was in Hawaii. Over, you were just over in November. Hawaii shooting a movie. Yeah, but I go there like four or five times a year. Are they fun? when you shoot those movies with like Spade and your friends? Is it is it fun? Yeah, it's fun when you when you work with the people that you know. And it's like working with Sandler. It's like I know if, uh, we we all work together for so long. So it is fun. But this one, I was in Hawaii and we did a couple shots for the movie, and then I was went out to get in the water, and the director was like, "Yeah, you can't get any sun." So I was in Hawaii for a month and a half, and I couldn't. I don't drink when I film, and I couldn't get any sun. I couldn't go in the water, so I just. You don't drink when you film? No, and I just walked around like a fucking That's sociopath. Why I don't do movies. It's hard. Like your hours is so long. I learned right away because I, I used to drink when I filmed, and then uh, I when I saw myself on camera, I think it was Chuck and Larry. There was some scene where I just looked fucking like a gargoyle's fucking vagina, <laughs> and I just was like. I just stopped doing it because it was it, being hung over and trying to memorize lines is hard. You're a social drinker. I'm all kinds of drinker. I like right? drinking. Do you drink every day? No. I, you know every what's so night. funny is as I was asking you guys, <laughs> yeah, at the night times. Come on, Nick. People's perception of me is different than what I am. Well, right. that's the, it's the same thing when you were asking us what the party's like. Like I think it's a, it's exaggerated for effect. Because I think the same thing when I see you. You take your shirt off. You're drinking. It's like party guy. You know. Yeah, but I am. But if but I do drink probably more than the average person. Do you yeah, sleep you naked? Sure. Do you sleep naked? Naked? Yeah. All the way. 100%. What does your family feel about that? Uh, I had to start wearing pants around my daughter's because I ran into the bedroom on a, during an earthquake naked, and it fucking scared the living shit out of them. Not the earthquake, but my dick. Right. And so what, I, because it was so small that they're like, oh my God, there's no way we could have possibly come out of that genetically. Dad, or is it more? <laughs> Dad's vagina's so red. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no but, what uh, about, okay, what? so you sleep naked. Do you sleep, do naked? sleep naked? No. Why? What? You know you're born know. naked. Yeah, you not sleep I mean naked, you can't Nick? prove that. Well, <laughs> when you start, what do you podcast, think about Nick? No, but why, ahead, do you, why don't you sleep naked? I don't know. Is there cocaine in that water? What's yeah, the I'm fuck just having just a happened? good time. Just having a good time enjoying Jesus life. Jesus Christ! I don't know. Why would I sleep naked? Why wouldn't you sleep naked? Oh, you can't have it in case there's a fucking earthquake. Oh, really? In case there's an earthquake, that's why you don't sleep naked. He doesn't want my daughters to see his dick. Yeah. What? Okay, let's talk about some other stuff about this. What about sleeping with your phone next to your bed? Hundred percent. Do you charge your phone overnight and overcharge it? A hundred percent. Okay. My, mm -hmm. my depression kicks in uh, about two minutes after I wake up when I've checked Twitter, Instagram, my direct messages, my messages, my emails, and Google News, and I have nothing left in my life. I saw you checked my messages and the blue check was there and you didn't respond. So I saw you see and didn't respond. You got to fix that so people don't know you saw. That feature sucks. Yeah. Whoa, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Are you serious? Yeah, it's okay. People can tell, because I Sorry. read messages Jesus. and never. I thought you were somebody else. Christ. 
Uh, I never yeah, fucking Yeah, I'll show replied. you how to set that up because then the people feel a little neglected. And But I'm here. I'm sitting here with you. It was about being here, so we're here. But but I don't have my phone by my I'm fucking bed. I'm fubbing you guys. Oh, Where yeah, do you leave it? I fubbed you. He did. I put it like on my kitchen counter. I plug it and leave it away from me because I was sitting in bed doing all that shit. And I like a lot yeah. of time before I go to bed, I'll like watch TV and then I'll check my phone. Then I plug it in. I fucking go to bed and sleep. How like many hours normal. do you sleep a night, do you think? Ooh. I probably sleep seven to eight. That's a good, that's a good solid. Six. Yeah, I, I can tell you that because I turn off my marijuana plants and turn them back on. Oh, you on go. A oh, 16, what time schedule. do you go to bed? Midnight. Uh, well, I, I turn off my marijuana plants at midnight. I uh, then go to bed kind of around after then, kind of. Okay. Now, okay. But I wake up every day around six or seven. Because of the Jesus. kids. Because of the girls, yeah. Right. Oh, and you fuck. take them to school? Are you responsible? No, parent? no, no. That's my wife. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a Greg. Uh, Greg Fitzsimmons get, uh, relinquished me from that. He seems like a much better overall man than you. Who? And Greg he, Fitzsimmons. He's dialed kind in. Kind of. He's a swarthy little bridge he's troll. He's a what? <laughs> what? A, sw a say, what? Swarthy little bridge <laughs> troll. I told him I felt guilty about not waking up with my kids. He goes, you're a comic. Your job is to stay out late. You're going to compromise your health to take care of some kids? You're, you're a comic. Let your kids know you're a comic. He's yeah. fucking full of shit. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Greg's one of my old friends, and he's lying. He's throwing you under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I remember him doing fucking sets. He's like, I got to get out of here. I've got kids. Yeah, I've got to fucking ex feed Yeah, them. that's like the ultimate get out of anything passes. You got kids. like That and diarrhea. Yeah, well, you know, it's like when I rarely work, like, and someone's like, hey, let's go party. I'm like, I got to work tomorrow. You can't really argue with that. Kids, that's the forever hall pass. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do anything ever again. Yeah. You know? This show is sponsored by DraftKings. Hey, Hoops enthusiasts, it's that time of year. The NBA season is in full swing from buzzer beaters to jaw-dropping dunks. The season is on fire. I've partnered up with DraftKings to get you right in on the action. Discover the excitement of real-time betting by downloading the DraftKings app now. New customers get a no-sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back up to $1,000 in the amount of your original bet if it doesn't hit. Minimum deposit of $5. Sign up using my promo code BURNING. The crown is yours. That's right. New customers can get a no-sweat bet up to one k if your first bet loses. And DraftKings has got something for the existing customer as well. All customers get SGP insurance every day. Get a bonus bet back if one leg of your SGP loses. Minimum number of legs required and max bet vary. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and the shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code BURNING and get a no sweat bet. That's promo code BURNING only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Do you think you guys love kids? I no. do. No? I do. You're I mean, I am for the sure kid. Not having kids. Really? Thanks. Thanks for supporting me. You'd be a great dad. Because I'm a kid myself. 100%. Nick, you'd be an amazing dad. I don't know, man. I like sleep. I like my life. If I want to go to fucking do something, I want to just do it. I don't want to have a little thing. Why can't thing. you do that with a child around? Yeah, you can do it. You get, you're rich. You can get a nanny. Okay, That's what I'll, go to, does. I'll go machete juggling in Bali with what? my, with my <laughs> fucking harem of children. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, I'm sure Adam would watch the kids. He's not busy. Sandler. Yeah, he's not busy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I would know. love I just... children. Oh, and I'm real? getting to the point, I froze, I, I froze my sperm. For real? For real. On purpose? It's, yep. I have three, I have four, <laughs> three or four ice, ice babies right Ices now babies? in Beverly. I, I mean, they're not named yet, but they're about <laughs> frozen. Babies. And they are, um, Robert Van Winkle, is that his name? I used to like. They are right now in a freezer in Beverly Hills for $600 a year. Why is your head like that? Because <laughs> I'm thinking about them. This is what happens when you think about your children. You got a tilt axis. Um, did you make up the word redonkulous? People make. say I fucking did, but I don't. No. Did you? I That's think you I, did. I think I, I don't know. The first know. time I ever heard that word was on Spade show. Yeah, it was on the Hollywood And you show. said redonkulous. And I swear to God, I'd never heard it before. They did it on ESPN or something. And then I started hearing it everywhere. Maybe I don't know. I can't remember if I did, but I remember somebody pointed that out to me. If you did, was it maybe an accident? You just I don't know, because I used to play this caddy, shocker, character on Spade show. He has a new show, by the way, coming on at Comedy Central. Yeah. David Spade. It's called Canceled. Like, yeah. 
Oh, so you wrote for it? Wrote yeah, I wrote, wrote for it. But no, David's got a new show. Um, this is not being made this way. So what I'm going to do, super simple, super, super simple, guys. Call the super simple. Call Uber Eats. No, no, I got this. I got this. It's not hot. Drink it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm going to flat, I'm going to flatbread it. I'm going to flatbread it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm going to flatbread it. I like that. Put a little olive oil In down here. Improv. Do so does anyone ever help you, or is this just it? We just no, watch no. you just ruin dinner. I just ruin. By the way, this no, will be the first time I've never been able to make something. Really? This yeah, will be the first time ever. Cook. Okay, I'm watching. I'm seeing. He yeah, unfortunately got stuck with my fucking. I don't even know what. To I know. Call this I wanted thing. drunk fucking off the rails, Nick, and I got hey. They People said I have to go to rehab. People are always very bummed out when it's not Nick drunk off the rails. Oh, I, we do a thing called Sober October. And, yeah. Uh, um. So wait, it's sober October. There's no fucking way Stanhope did it. No, he did a doctor approved one. He couldn't do raw dog it. No, because you would you would be in like deep shit if you did that. He'd die. Well, yeah, actually, he'd would, die. Yeah. No, he oh. would probably die from withdrawals. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had DTs before. For real? Yeah. No, you haven't. I mean, no. Okay. Mm. So I'm gonna so, <laughs> shut up, Nick. No. So. I'm Real quick, Sober October, how hard is it for you the first few days? Not at all. Really? Yeah, I'm like you guys, I can turn it off very quickly okay. and just disconnect. My problem is, I, I can sense it a little bit, I don't know if you're doing this, but I do this, is I become very strict with myself. Like, I will not drink, I will not do drugs. Like, That's if what I I'm turn it, right yeah, now. I know, and I notice that, like, there, like, there are guys who go, yeah, I'm not drinking. Like, Burr, Burr will be like, I'm not drinking for two months, and then you'll be around him, he's like, I'll take one whiskey, come on, you know, like, right. he's okay to, like, Cut, uh, like, cut the sides off of it, but I get very strict with myself, and then I have a hard time drinking again. Like, that first drink is it's a It's kind of, yeah, no, it's weird. I'm already kind of like, when do I fire it back up? Ugh. Are you, uh, are you, how hard are you touring right now? I just toured like crazy for like two, two and a half years, so yeah, I'm, you did I'm that off right big, now. You did that big arena tour, didn't you? I did this, me and Sandler and Spade, Schneider, Norm McDonald, and uh... How and funny is Norm McDonald? Oh, he's amazing. Ah, what? Who's the funniest out of that group? Fuck. Like, like. I don't uh, know. Can I speak from the outside? It's it's weird because like one night it's him, one night it's, it's this thing, but that's an all-star lineup right there. And uh, Norm McDonald Norm is McDonald. a funny motherfucker, dude. How the fuck do you turn this on? Uh -huh. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna saute this because oh, yeah, we're waiting we're for this. Go. We're gonna saute this tofu up. They say tofu gives you man breasts. Yeah, is that true? I don't know what to believe about that. Oh, uh, because it's like an estrogen or something? Mm. Something like that. We're gonna just saute it up. Yeah. Throw some of these sliced pieces. You know what? I'm gonna really fucking jazz this up, Nick. Well, I don't know. You've done, this is another thing I'm doing, acupuncture. You've Ooh. done that. What do you mean? I got black belt in acupuncture. Dude, you fucking, they put them all over your body and then they go, all right. Or then they put them in the back first and then you lay down on the, mm. on the massage thing. Mm. And then you go and they have a needle in the fucking oh, yeah. head and your ears. Oh, yeah. And you go into this like dream state. Dude. And it's you're half awake yeah. and half alive, We're and it like gets all your senses. You're going to Bali next. And you're, dude, I'm fucking, I'll ball Hey, dude. dude. So, I, so have you heard of, have you done cupping yet? Ow. Yeah, I've done cupping. Okay, cupping's good. What about you? Ever done acupuncture? No, or no, cupping? I, don't, I don't, I'm afraid of needles. Really? Like they don't yeah. hurt. It's not like you think. How about this? Have you heard of Reiki? Uh, I've done Reiki. That's a trip. Have you What's done rolfing? I have not done rolfing. I rolfing really is next. I want to wreck it, Rolf. Get in there and you fucking move it around. I like that. I want to try that. Yeah, I, I like want to do that. rolfing. I've done Reiki. I didn't believe in it. I walked in there doubting it, and I walked out, I walked in doubting it, walked out a believer. Uh, that what is, shit. What, they, what is that? Reiki is where they just move energy. Like, but they'll get in your armpit, too, dude, and like hold you in it's your a armpit. Trip. What about, uh, okay, have you heard of the Lucia Light? I tried that recently. No, the Lucia that? Light is a light therapy that you go to. Oh, I've done that. Dude. Uh, cryotherapy, too. Yeah, that shit's fucking great, right? Oh, look at that. It came out. All right, we're going to now put Cryotherapy is a like freezing on one, right? Isn't that yeah. what Drogan does? Yeah, it's great. So Wim Hof told me <laughs> that it's, I'll be honest with you, Wim Hof, who's the ice man, was like, dude, you could get the same effect by jumping in the ocean for three minutes. Same shit. Uh, I started going into my pool naked? at the end of the night. Naked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But How super cold. Good. Super <laughs> Yeah, can you cough into it? Oh, there's peppers. <laughs> um, there's peppers that you put in there? <laughs> Don't breathe that in. Don't breathe that in. Don't Why? breathe that in. It's... Oh. Good. Oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oof. 
Yeah, so, that's, God damn. how cold is the temperature when you jump in naked? Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, only like, like not really cold, but like Because cold I heard the cryo, like from what I understand from the Iceman himself was like, dude, just go jump in the ocean and save your 30 bucks. You know, it's free. Cold yeah. showers are free, ocean's free. You get the same effect as But the, isn't the cryo chamber like really freezing? Yeah, isn't but I guess the, yes, but you can, you get the same, your body goes in the same state of hypothermia that it would in the cryo thing, even though it's colder, supposedly. What is fucking Rogan as like a chamber? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't yeah. he do like MDMT or yeah, what yeah. is it? DMT, DMT. DMX? D <laughs> DMX! What does he do? Then he goes That's under the- That's what rolls. No, and he goes uh, underwater. Yeah, no, I don't know about that, but. Yeah, doesn't he do like underwater, um, what is he it? He does a deprivation it's tank with yeah, DMT. Yeah, deprivation yeah. tank. No, I thought he just ate edibles and went in there like in those sensory deprivation No, he doesn't do tank. DMT in his de deprivation tank. Dude, I did a, de deprivation tank, a, de a sensory deprivation tank once. That shit was fucking, you know what sucked? I did it in Venice, and I heard the fucking restaurant next door clanking the plates around, so I didn't quite have the experience of being <laughs> completely <laughs> cut off. <laughs> Are you kidding that? That? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, what? You're allowed to cough, but I can't coffee? I'm not even talking to you. Oh my god. Mm. Why is it all about you? <laughs> Tom yeah, this is turning out exactly as I wanted it to. So, yeah, I did the sensory deprivation once. I've been trying a bunch of weird shit like that. Lucia liked the sensory deprivation. Acupuncture's great, Nick. I, can, I, can, I suggest you keep going in there, get that energy. Because, you know, in the Western medicine, they don't acknowledge the meridians that flow, but that shit's in there, bro. Yeah. I believe it. Bert, you know, you wouldn't do acupuncture? No. They're yeah, not like, they're not, they're, the needles are so small and thin, you don't even notice them. Yeah, like, it's just, not. But have, you would, it would fuck oh, you dude. up, though, because when they put one in your, like, by your liver, <laughs> They do one to, to open up my liver, and you can feel that shit. So I remember meeting Bert at Boston Comedy Club, and you were just fresh off that Rolling Stone article. Yeah. And you were hanging out. I was working the door. You were working the door, but you were hang You hung out first. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was like, how do you get into comedy? You hang out with your fans, I notice a lot, right? A lot, yeah. Does that ever get risky? Uh, no, I think really? they're cool, yeah. They, they get it. Yeah, they, I yeah. drink with my fans. Yeah, I, I, it's fun. It's it's like, it's like, dude, if you and tell people get weird. What? Yeah, it's tell people get it's weird. cool till it's not. I uh, did this club in Kansas City, that multiple people got thrown out for vomiting during the show. <clears throat> vomiting in the show, like about eight people. It was just constant. They had oh, bucket. You, you brought Dante a, with you. <laughs> they had a bucket <laughs> of beer. Five. <coughs> kind of one coughing. It was fucking uh, ten beers for five bucks. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so fuck is, it. is everyone is everyone <laughs> from the peppers? What? Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I, fucking, I cooked up no. Fucking. Is, we all like I started bigger. coughing. Is, I was cooking chili peppers, <laughs> and it's in the air like someone yeah, yeah. pepper spray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> did you I'm put sorry. in peppers or pepper spray? I put peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it into pepper spray. Did you mace the meal? <laughs> I mace the meal. <laughs> so now right. what are you doing over there? What's this? This is cut? real quick. This is a real quick whip up of <laughs> this fucking meal is so confusing. Uh, what? Mm. Now. Yeah, maybe. Is every episode? I think I used all the garlic. The food comes Do you out. Give me more garlic. Like... God damn it! I know I have That's the peppers in my eyes. It's gnarly. Yeah, it's hot as shit. Yeah, Dude, you gotta that. stay away. Holy fuck! Um, Where's the fake? Uh, sugar. Have you ever? Sure. <clears throat> you guys, uh, you cook bacon a lot, Bert? Oh, dude, I love, you love bacon. You love bacon. Here's a little secret recipe. My mom taught me is you sprinkle brown sugar on the bacon and it gives it a maple regale. And you gotta be careful if you cooking naked because the little fat fries pop on your penis. <laughs> on you your that? penis. Mm -hmm. uh, your mom told you that? No, not that part. Just the maple uh, bacon, bro. Um, is your dad still alive, Simon? My father, yes. Uh, he was, we, he and I, you want to go down this road? Yeah, yeah I'm cool with it. Okay, he uh, was never really, <coughs> he was never, I'm not uh, crying, it's the pepper. <laughs> it's in my fucking eye right now, and it's burning oh, so Oh, don't keep touching bad. your eye, dude. Yeah, my, oh, I know that now. <coughs> no, somebody pee, pee in his eye. I think that's my, what you do. <laughs> no, my pops was one of, one of those guys that was never around, and, uh, but we're cool now. So yeah. that's the cliff notes. There was a your big dad, gap in the middle yeah, there. There's a big, big gap, chunk. big old gap. Nick, your dad is passed. My right? dad's dad. I remember when your dad passed, I think. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The worst bragger. <laughs> the guy who doesn't know what bragging is. <laughs> my dad's dad. Uh, Dude, stop. My dad died, yeah, when I first moved to LA. When I moved to LA. I was with Vincent Nastry. 98? 
Vincent um, Mastry. Uh, uh, no, it's 2001 when he had a stroke, and it was after that. Yeah, he died. <clears throat> yeah, stroke? Fucking died, yeah. Why do you always gotta outdo me? Yeah, everyone's dead I ever met. They were <laughs> murdered, everyone I've ever met. What about you, Brett? Um, it's fine, it's Bert, but it's fine. Yeah, right, my, dad, right. my, dad's, my dad's still alive. <laughs> Where does he live, Florida? Tampa, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Florida, dude. Dude, I yeah, love surprise. I'm one of the only people that loves Florida. People hate on it. It's such a fucking shit. I love show. it. It's like the valley. It gets a bad rap. And the valley is great, and so is Florida. Ooh, yeah, people get fucking nice. tore up in Florida. Yeah, I think well, I think that's the, one of the things. I remember telling, uh, talking to someone from Florida, and they're like, can you believe they don't drink and drive out here? AIDS. And I was like, yeah. What, what do you mean? That's just the way people work in Florida. It's like drinking and driving is not a big deal. Yeah, Florida is a whole different Drinking and driving is not a big deal anywhere. When I go out to other places, yeah. You just see people like, fucking, they'll do yeah. whatever. I was, when I was on tour, I was in Wyoming, mm. and I was at a bar, and uh, this guy saddled up, and he goes, what's up, Jerry? He goes, yeah, let me get a, he goes, you drinking tonight? He goes, no, man, let me just get a beer. And he had like 10 beers, and they're like, you want a shot? And he goes, no, man, I'm fucking driving. And he yeah. had 10 beers. I was just watching this guy, and that to him was not drinking, and he went and got in his car and drove home <laughs> and killed my dad. Jesus. My eyes okay. are all fucking fire. Yeah, that is fucking serious My eyes business. are all fire. I have that sauce all in my fucking eyes. So wait, there's nothing we could do to help out, huh? No, it's no, 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 no. I'm almost done. This right. pizza's almost done. These Dude. noodles are going to be fucking amazing. My eyes are burning. Mm. Mm. This is your sauce, Nick. Does it look good? What is that? This is the sauce. Looks a little thin, right? More peanut butter? No. It's quite good then, right? Yeah, I think it's good. Here, let me try it. Leave it on, leave it on. Like <laughs> I said, I said you always got to make sure you... It's not bad. Yeah? Yeah, it looks good. It's not bad. It's How's not bad at all. finger sauce? Oh, yeah, I guess I put my finger in the sauce. Everyone coughing from this fucking pepper? <clears throat> you put your finger in your eye and then in the sauce. Ooh, the pizza that looks ready. ready. That looks Ooh. ready. It looks ready? Yeah. Are well, you, here, uh... Because that's vegan cheese, right? Yeah. It's not going to get brown? No. Oh. I mean, it, it might, but it'll take like a year. Are you Italian at all, Bert? What's your no. background? Irish, German. Yeah? Yeah. What are you guys? Uh, I, just did, I just did my Forever 21 test. Forever <laughs> 21? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm Swedish, uh, a little bit of German. Mm. <laughs> I found out I'm 30% Basque. Do you know where that is? Yeah. Basque. Yeah? Basque, yeah. Basque? Yeah, Fuck. Basque. No. It's, uh, between Spain and France. It's a little crispy regalia. I am 30% Basque, and I am uh, Lithuanian Jewish. <clears throat> Insert racist, horrible joke there. And, uh, say, yeah, yeah it's, no, it's okay. Lithuanians don't really have a big thing know, they're known no, for. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what so is you that are um, obscurely ooh, Jewish? Glass noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, uh, per Nick. Ooh, I got to put this in here somewhere. And then, and oh, then. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Lithuanian this. stereotype. Believe it or not. <laughs> oh, what are you kind of a gymnast? <laughs> and then, believe it or not, I was two uh, percent North African, uh, but we all somehow go back far enough to get crispy together. That look like it. What about you? Are you? Uh, did you do your straight up Irish? Or? Yeah, but a little bit of North African. Yeah. See. <coughs> Everyone's got North African. That's what in I'm them. saying, baby. I think that's just the way the shipping routes work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Uh, uh. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix these up. This is a Burt Kreischer secret. This is how I mix up everything in my life. Ooh, smart. You just shatter your teeth out. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. I didn't, I didn't mix up at didn't all. didn't mix it at all. <laughs> that didn't mix at Here. all. Here. That's all. There we go. Should these be hot? They're cold, right? Mm. Yeah. You should use your hands more. Yeah, it's a... Digitally penetrated pasta. Here, there we go. Oh, there we go. My hands are clean. I just washed okay. them. Okay. Oh, I know. <laughs> Jesus. Mm, Jesus. All right. Should we pull the pizza out first? Ooh. Oh, oh, look at this oh, fucking yeah. pizza. Oh. This pizza looks nice. Wowzers. You got any hot sauce? I did. Should be really hot. I on think one it's side. gonna be hot. <laughs> we weren't around oh, ten minutes God. ago. It's so stupid. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we couldn't breathe? Remember when we maced ourselves? <laughs> I think it's gonna be pretty fucking hot. Dude. 
<laughs> Holy shit. All right, here's the pizza. You first. I'll do it. I'll hold go on, in. Hold I'll on, go hold in. on, hold on, hold on. I'll go in. I'll go in. You got the dressing. Oh, yeah. To get that finger dressing on there. Here we go. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look as thick as I'd want dressing, but. You no, know dressing. What? Yeah. Jesus. Balsamic vinegar, it's like that. Yeah. Jesus. Oh my God, Are you're putting you the whole fucking, fucking thing in? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna need some spoons for that pizza. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna grab us all forks. I am afraid. Oh shit, sorry, I'm in front of you. There we go. We'll toss this around. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, grab it. You know what I'll do? All right. I'll get us all a plate, and then we'll all have our own plates. Oh, <laughs> somebody's a real chefy. Oh, look at this. <coughs> Here we go. Oh, baby. And then I'll take <coughs> bless you, bless you. All right. I mean, just look at this. this you know oh, what? Oh, that looks good. This is what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Take a little bit of this. All right. Mm. It's a soup. That's the most dressing that's ever been put on a salad. Thanks for making dinner, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Whoa. oh, here there's for salmon. Good Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. There's your pubic hair. All right. Serge you there. Ooh. Ooh. Looks mm. tasty. Mm. Reminds me of a first date with a chick I won't agree politically with. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby. It smells okay. like peanut. Butter. Oh, these are your forks that I was using. Oh, thank you. Okay, now. All right, now it's <clears throat> take the pizza off the tray. Pop the tray. Mm. Careful, it's hot. It's hot. hot. Oh, it'll burn. Pizza didn't seem super firm. <laughs> that is not firm, dude. Uh, you're gonna, you're not, you're not gonna be able to get that off. Just we'll have to like <laughs> scoop it. That's so. not pizza. It's gonna, like this. That is, that's a dressing. Nope. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Everyone, shut the fuck up. There's you're no, gonna have a piece of pizza on your plate. Trust yeah, me. Trust me. No, Where's the spatula? There's no bread. Do you have a in spatula? It. Oh, I yeah, believe there's it. A spatula over there. It's, right. You pronounce spatula very local. Is that that? Hey, do we have a, where's the spatula? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Jeez. Isn't that a spatula? I guess it will serve <gasps> one. Okay. Or this one's even firmer. No, we got it. So we'll just cut. Oh, there we go. Simon's piece. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate you having us over, Brent. Okay. <laughs> Your slice of pizza. No, Nick, I got it. I got it. Jeez. Yeah, I got it. I got I mean, it. He's come this far. <clears throat> okay, I would, I would just be warned. <laughs> There's some tinfoil. Oh, no. Dude, oh, my God. Chewing the tinfoil? Just, just be careful is all I'm saying. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, no, it looks all right. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. God, dude. I've never made this That's your bad piece. Place. Okay, hold on. Fucking drooly on Glacius. Go. <laughs> that is go. not. That's my piece of pizza. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then Nick. Oh my Here's, good lord. Hang on, I'm having a hard time removing <laughs> it. Help. Here's your piece Jesus. of pizza? Wow. <sighs> you want the rest of it? <laughs> 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 All right, and do we huh. eat it? Yeah, guys, this is awesome. Thank you so much for coming over for dinner. My goodness. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. you want to start with the pizza? Is there... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's actually not good. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's something. <laughs> the texture's okay. <laughs> it's like, um, are we supposed to critique it or do we just? No. Mm. Just let it happen. <laughs> well, ha. It's, uh, not bad, dude. It's not, not bad. Lie. Not bad. Not good, but it's not bad. If no. you told me it was cat food, I think it was amazing. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> we don't need any more spice on that. That's mm. good. We're good with spice. Mm. Is it spicy? <clears throat> My eyes are on fucking fire. Not, you know, it's okay, actually. It's, I, I, How's the noodles? They, <clears throat> they're um, no dressing. They're supposed to be like al dente, right? Like, they're supposed to be glassy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. A crunch. Mm. Mm. Like, if I was at a vegan restaurant, I'd understand. <laughs> I'd understand. So you eat like this every day? I mean, kind of. Oh my God. Is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bert. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had fun, though. Put milk in your eye. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> okay. Beer up. Here's, the, here's the question I'm going to ask you. You get to remake and star in one of Adam Sandler's movies. Which movie do you pick? Billy Madison. Happy Gilmore. Mm. Happy Gilmore sucks. I'll say Billy. Okay, I love Happy I'm going to go Gilmore. another direction on you guys. What's the PTA one? Oh, Punch, Punch Trunk Love. What is it? What is it called? Punch, Punch Trunk, Trunk Love. Oh, you know, just so I can break man. the glass door and get an Oscar, you mm, know? Mm, mm. What's the one you taught that girl how to speak Spanish? Ooh. Spanglish. Yep. What about remote control where he fast forwarded his dick? Click. What about the one where uh, him and Drew Barrymore? Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> 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 this was crazy. I already have diarrhea. <laughs> I already do. Wow. So when you write a movie, do you have the ending already? Do you just build to the ending? No. When you're writing a movie, you should have an A to B. So you should have, you know the beginning, know the ending, and know generally where you want to be in the middle. But you, want, you always kind of want to know where you want to end up. And you want three act breaks. That's just, you know, basic shit. Okay. Have you and never so, written a screenplay yet? Yeah, I've written a few scripts. But then, you know, it's hard. Nick's the only guy I've ever known who wrote a script young, out of nowhere. And then, and they were like, bam, we're doing it. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't know many guys like you that have had your career. It's been an, a really interesting career to follow because you've done your shit. Yeah, no, it's weird. I don't know. I just, I just fell into it. But my family were writers, and that's how I met Sandler. He goes, I have a movie for you to write. And I go, what is it? Or rewrite. And it was called Grandma's Boy. And uh, I rewrote it from page one and cult classic. After ever Hardcore. since then, he people was love that movie still. That's crazy. Hardcore. It's like the, so the writing is fun. I always tell every comic. I'm always like, just write. Don't put pressure on yourself. Write just to write, just to just fucking open your brain up and try a new muscle. You know, mm. it's good to write. So how do we end this show, Nick? You've <clears throat> you've. I was gonna tell you earlier. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs>